save for a lifetime. <laughs> How are you going to come down with your chimney, Mr. Fat Tommy? Kodak Royal Gold for the holidays, for the moments that matter most. Ladies and gentlemen, I fellow alcoholics, welcome to Las Vegas. Or Henderson. This is the least looking Las Vegas hotel I think I've been in, but it's nice. It's not loud, it's not gaudy. Hold on, adjusting microphone. It's very quiet. But today I went on a pilgrimage to a sacred site. I went to Good Springs. So, fast rewind really quick. I was um, looking at my travel plans and going from Welton to uh, Vegas took you through Searchlight. Like, oh, wait a minute. Then I remember last year at this time, I uh, had the idea, well, I could one of these days do a video where I go to like Good Springs, various places. So I did that. So let's start at the beginning. I left fairly early this morning. Actually flew, uh, drove by the blimp, uh, the drug blimp I talked about. So I got some better pictures than the first time. Um, then continued down 95. Uh, then took the split at 95 to go th away from Arizona, eventually through Needles. And then I ended up in Searchlight, which was far less irradiated than in the game, luckily. Uh, went through there. It's actually a fairly small town. And then when I left, it was amazing how much that road was as flat and open as it is in the game. Just remind me. Actually, it reminded me more of the uh, Nipton to... Uh, I-15, which, again, I went through Nipton also then. So I went from Searchlight heading west, which, of course, the next stop is Nipton, which is nothing. Like, I was at least hoping for a town hall, something akin to the game. But no, it was basically, I think, just like an RV park, if not anything else. It is along the railroad tracks, though. So past Nipton, then, is the wide open area, even to the south of the road. Reminds me of how flat and arid the um, the uh, Fallout game is, uh, New Vegas. So, of course, you hit 17, or 15, excuse me, which is where, um, right at the intersection, be, so you go up to go to the mountain pass. And, again, the mountains were behind me. And then you can go north to uh, Prim. Prim is the next one. But Prim has always been there. I've been through Prim many times. It is literally the edge. It's the closest you can get to gambling from California. So that's why it's right on the border. And also the little rock park and uh, roller coaster is there, as always. Uh, then after Prim, you actually hit Jean, which is not really a town in the game, but it is actually a proper casino. But behind Jean, and I should have realized this, was the Correctional Center, where the... Uh, uh, Powder keggers? Yeah. Uh, you know, prison break, that whole s scenario. And, of course, you turn, and you go through, uh, turn west, that is, and you hit Good Springs. Now, Good Springs, again, it's just the two buildings out there, and they've always been there. Apparently, the Pioneer Saloon, according to this, has been there since 1913. And it is just a little, a very small uh, bar, restaurant area. Basically, it's heavily used by bikers and people out uh, running the dunes, or dunes, running in the desert. So, and again, it took me a while to get service and fed there. But again, it is a small place, reasonable. I mean, we have one guy basically on a barbecue cooking all the food for everyone. But it was nice because, again, there are all little hints that they're aware of. I mean, one of the things I bought there was a Nuka Cola keychain. Hold on, are you recording? Yeah, a little Nuka Cola ball cap. So, it'd be my one dollar if I ever get in post-apocalyptic uh, Fallout World. That is, sorry, my voice a little bit, but yeah, it was fun. And again, uh, there is a little bit of a hill behind the two areas, which I guess would technically be where the cemetery is. There's also a hill in front of it, which is where the big cross would be. And again, there's a lot of stuff that matches. Uh, like Doc's place uh, is a bit upper if you go west, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Again, this town was there when these guys made it. Anyways, I ate lunch. I left, like I said, I wanted to get there for lunch. Came back to the correctional center and then went up through, again, the way I normally play Fallout. You know, F the death clause. I'm going that way. That's the shortcut to Vegas. So I go up 15. The next thing is Sean or Shilon. Shilon? Anyways. <clears throat> 
I don't have anything to drink. Oh, well, I'm about to. Which is, um, I'm speaking of death claws, it's the mining pit area. So, which again, back then, it was a bit of a distance between it and Vegas. Now, Vegas is about butt in with it, with the mining operation. So, the death claws would have had plenty of condos to live in if it was built now, or designed now. So, uh, and of course, you know, the airport and then everything else in Vegas, which again, I've been through many times, many, many times. So, that's what I did. I went and I went to Good Springs. Also, it amazed me, like, the mountains uh, south of Good Springs look like the mountains. Again, they did a good job of capturing the environment of this area. So, uh, I kind of just want to play Fallout again. Oh, well, anyways, let's get on to today's shot, which, by the way, will be made in a uh, Pioneer Saloon Good Springs shot glass. So, on brand today. But we have these three right here. Which one will it be? I need a D3. I don't know if I have a D3. Because that one I thought was a D3 is actually a D4. Wait a minute. A 6. By the way, this hotel is in line with the airport, so you might hear a couple rumblings in the back. But yeah, D6. So let's see what today we are drinking. Two. Simple. So that's two left. I mean, this could be perfect. I don't. I think what it is, I did find some copies or du duplicates in the thing. So I actually am going to have just enough. 29, 30, 31. So perfect. Anyways, uh, today we are drinking, let me get this on camera here, Largo Bay Vanilla Spiced Rum. 30% alcohol by volume, 60 proof. So... I should get some water, clear my throat up a little bit, but this will do wonders. <clears throat> so, by the way, this is one of the flavors I got my parents. They haven't touched this one yet. They've opened up the apple spice and, or we finished off one of the ginger sp gingerbread spice. I got them another one, so they're probably already halfway into it. Ha! That's no, good. There we go. All right, so let's do the pour, and since it's clear, let's do it that way. That is pretty clear. Yeah, that is fairly thin. So let's see how it smells. Ooh. Again, vanilla doesn't smell like vanilla. Excuse me for a second. Oh, squirt, I'll get it in a second. Uh, vanilla doesn't smell like vanilla. Vanilla smells like vanilla cookie, vanilla cake, vanilla something. Again, vanilla extract by itself doesn't exactly smell like that. So there's something else to it. And again, that's the spice rum that I spell. So mm, mm, mm. so here's to fulfilling. Uh, not lifelong dreams. It's been my dream forever. Fulfilling random expeditions you wanted to do. So here's to, well, fallout. <laughs> Ooh, ooh, that's a good warm. Slow, steady, but strong at the end. It belled up and then boof. Anyways, so. Ooh. Uh, aftertaste might be a bit strong. But, okay, goes in sweet. Vanilla. Vanilla almost gingerbread-ish. Again, not really. But... There's, again, that's the spice rum is mixing with the vanilla perfectly. It's like a vanilla snap or cookie. Well, yeah, something akin. So more cookie than cake. But as it goes in, you're just left with a sweet vanilla taste. And anyways, so as it goes down, though, like I said, there's a kind of stops right here as far as warmth and just grows slowly, not fast. Good, warm, slow burn, and then finally it dies down. But it gets pretty strong. Um... You're left with a bit of a rum aftertaste, which isn't great. Like the vanilla kind of gives up after a while and you're just left with this weird after vanilla taste, but the rum taste is pretty good. So good, but compared to the two other Largo, or the three total Lagos that I've tried, I'd rather have the gingerbread one. And I literally did buy me a new one, so that should show you. The apple was okay. 
this was good. Actually, this was better than the apple, but the gingerbread one, amazing. Tastes like Christmas, highly recommend it. Buy it before it goes out of season. But this would be good if you want a little bit more sweeter rum. So rum and Coke with a little bit of vanilla, perfect. This is your man or a woman or with a rum instead. So anyway, so yeah, that was good. So anyways, but yeah, I was a little disappointed that they didn't lean full into the fallout. I've seen pictures where they've had, you're moving. Okay. Uh, where they've had like the uh, NCR flag up and stuff like that. There was a couple hints of, again, uh, fallout in there. One of the ones I noticed was there's a bathroom graffiti and someone covered up the bit of it, but I can tell it said truth. Uh, the game has been rigged from the start. You know, the famous line before getting shot. So, spoil alert for the beginning of the game. There we go. But yeah, so it was fun. Again, got to every time I go to Vegas now, it, I really have a little bit of New Vegas just because of the views and the ideas. And oh yeah, I remember walking. I wonder how many people have tried New Vegas because I think it is about a fifteen-minute drive, if not more, between Good Springs and Vegas proper. Like, I wonder how many people have, like, is there a Fallout fun run where you just do a 5K from Good Springs to um, uh, probably, uh, what was the name of that place? Jet? Anyways, or to the prison and back kind of thing. So, I mean, the prisoners would love to run, do that run, but then they wouldn't stop in New Spring, uh, Good Springs, they keep running, so... But yeah, also, like, the mountains and the snow are perfect right now. They look, resemble what the super mutants would be living in right now. Over in, was it, Jonestown? Or Jonesville? Anyways, but yeah. So again, it's fun to relax. Anyways, I just got done grocery shopping, so I'm going to snack on the food I bought, i.e. Uh, rotisserie chicken, just pick all the good stuff off, and then I'll be uh, using the meat for, like, uh, sandwiches throughout. The th and that's a nice thing. I, since I have a, an uh, actual kitchenette, again, bought some groceries, brought some Christmas dinner with me. And also, since I'm driving home, I don't have to worry about, you know, tossing stuff out. I can actually take it back with me. So, Also, my parents gave me a bunch of sweets. So I'm going to be fatter by the end of this. Anyways, as I ponder what to do here, do I sit here and eat chocolate or do I go out and drink alcohol on the strip? The chocolate will make me fat, but it won't give me an STD. Anyways, all that aside, thanks again for watching. And we're getting closer to New Year. It's almost over. Uh, actually, yeah. By the time I head back, I'll be done with the pre-records. And then we'll do, hopefully, a live stream. So, anyways, let me know what you... If you played Fallout, what was your fondest memory? Like I said, I just love, well, my stupidity. Like, again, the game wants you to go around and see all the stuff because they put a bunch of death claws between you and Vegas. So they want you to go here. They have all these beginning missions planned. Not me. I just fuck off that direction and missed a bunch of the starting quests. So by the time I got back to it, it was, you know, a bit easy. So <laughs> that's just the way I play RPGs a lot. So Whew. as I get something to drink for my throat... Let me say thanks again for watching, and hopefully I'll see you tomorrow. Until then, bye.